Hi, welcome to Smarter Marketing, the podcast that equips you with the tools and knowledge to take your marketing game to the next level. I'm Terry, your host, and today we're in our All Google Services podcast series. More specifically, we're going to talk about your Google, Google business profile and why it's critical to your business's success. Your Google business profile is a digital storefront, which is the first impression that potential customers are going to have when they search for your business online. So why does it matter? The power of your Google business profile is the first impression and also for a local SEO. This is going to boost your local search engine optimization efforts, making it easier for customers who are in your area to find you. So let's talk about that Google profile. When you claim your profile, you start by, if you haven't already, going to the map and looking up your address. And if your business is not found, there's an option for you to add a missing business. And if it is on there, you have the opportunity to claim the business. When you claim the business profile, you will follow the prompts on the bottom on the left hand side when your business name pops up. Complete all of the information and fill out every section that they ask you, including the business name, category hours of operation, and contact details. Once that happens, there, there will be a time process for them to confirm it. They'll verify everything that you have submitted. And if somebody else has claimed it in another email, then check your emails and make sure that you haven't already or that it was done for you um, through another staff member or another agency has filled it out for you. So if it says that this is already claimed, go through the prompts to claim it and ask for a request to own it. And if it hasn't been claimed, then you'll go through the steps to verify your ownership. They'll either have you set up a postcard, which is one of the original ways that they've done that. They will call or they will ask you for a video message. However they ask you for that, it is very important that you follow those steps because without that verification process, you won't have any changes show up until those are verified through a staff member at Google. Once you do, you're able to share high quality photos, your logo, uh, menu items if you have a menu, the inside of your building, your vehicles, staff members, all of those photos will go in there and be uploaded by you. And just to let you know, other people do have the ability to tag your business in photos if they were at your restaurant or if they had your services or if they happened to be there. Other people can add images that are tied to your business. So that's one of the other benefits of owning your own business profile on Google. So that way you can see and monitor the things that are being said about your business. The next thing that will happen when you own your business profile is that you get to respond back as the business to reviews. And reviews are a significant part of your profile. Positive reviews build trust and credibility. So encourage your happy customers to leave five-star reviews and always respond professionally to feedback that's good and bad both. And next, keeping it updated is one of your responsibilities when you are a business profile manager, whether you hire that out to a staff or the entrepreneur does it, or there's somebody else in your marketing team. Keep it up to date. Check it monthly. Make sure that nothing has changed. Some people can make suggestions about it if your hours are different or if they feel that your website was incorrect or if Google has found a piece of information like on Facebook and they've tied the two together, but the information doesn't match. They'll make suggested edits and then they'll notify you as the business manager. And then if you don't reply, some things can be automatically updated if they feel that it's warranted because their job is to provide current and accurate information to searchers, people who are on Google looking for your products and services. And if they find that the information needs to be updated. That's something that can happen. So I encourage you to check your details and the data that you have out there. Make sure that you're active in there. And updating that shows that you are active and reliable. I've heard 
oftentimes that people will look up a business, Google will state that it's open on Sundays and just recently the business has changed their Sunday hours, but not have updated that in the Google Business Profile Manager. And that causes frustration and a loss of business with potential customers if that information is wrong. I also want to encourage you to update posts in there regularly. Think of this as another extension of a social media platform. When you go to update posts or images, you can also offer uh, uh, add offers and other information in there as well. So when you're in the business profile dashboard, there are updates. And when you click on updates, you'll create a post, upload a picture, share your content. If you have a new staff member, you can share the photo of the new staff member. You can let people know if you're having a sale or a discount, a new product line. All of those are newsworthy and can be put onto Google Business Profile. Think of that as fresh content that helps you show up organically a lot easier in search results because you're already there in Google working in Google. So anything that you would publish that's newsworthy on Facebook or Instagram, bring it over to your Google Business Profile Manager and take another three minutes, paste your caption, links, buttons on how to do business with you, and then finally go ahead and add pictures as you have them. Google Business Profiles are evolving. The business manager just recently changed within the last year or so, and now we have an editor online. There used to be an app where you would manage that on your phone. So it's constantly evolving and there are always new features and it's Google's best interest to make it user friendly. So they're always going to be looking for ways to make their products and services that we use optimized and that consumers use to make it easy for them. So take some time, learn more about Google business tools and that investment is gonna pay off for you and make sure that what you have is optimized for mobile. So check that as well. And when you optimize your Google business profile, you're going to think in minds of people who are in your area but using their phone, looking for your products and services. So you can have location-specific landing pages such as testimonials, reviews, and customer stories. When people are looking for you, you can send them right to those pages. And your Google business helps your efforts when you're talking about certain areas that you serve. You'll put that in your Google business profile as well, even if you don't have a physical location that people would come to, but let's say you're a locksmith and you travel to their location, your customers will request you to meet them where they are. You can include the service areas, which at last count, you can have 10 neighborhoods or communities that you serve and put those in there as well. And then you can also put out citations and links to relevant directories that mention your business and when you're responding to reviews, make sure that you're classy about it and professional. Thank them for taking the time to write a review, regardless of whether it's good or bad, and personalize those responses. I get them to where they'll say, thanks for taking the time to write a review for us, or um, they'll specific, get specific in it when they do write back and thank me by name. Um, but make sure that you personalize that and talk about the specific things that was mentioned in your review that shows that you're attentive and you appreciate the customer feedback. They took the time to share their experience and you can take another 30 seconds to write something important and relevant. And then if you do have somebody that has had an issue, handle them calmly and tactfully and try to resolve them professionally. And an another good way for you to show that is to ask them to leave the platform and contact you directly with an apology and an inquiry and showing your interest in helping that client or that customer 
resolve their issue and then ask them to either call you or email you at support at your business.com. And we also have analytics in our Google business profile. So we have the ability to utilize those analytics to identify where the traffic is coming from. And it's really important to track your effectiveness. So when you have your analytics turned on, you'll be able to see what's happening, but you can also see if people are clicking on your phone number, if they're clicking to go to your website, you'll know what's happening from your Google Business Manager because it's going to tell you as well. So those analytics for your Google Business Profile are super helpful because you'll know what people are doing. And when you create posts and updates, it gives them another opportunity to engage with you and to help understand customers' behaviors and how they interact with your profile, and then you can adjust accordingly. The information that you place in your Google Business Profile is very important because you need to make sure that it is accurate and consistent and that you use your local phone number. Try not to use a toll-free number or a call center if you have to, if you can on your primary phone number. And then make sure you're using relevant keywords when you talk about your descriptions and categories. If you can do that, Google will know where and how to display your business to your potential customers. And then always link back to your website from your Google business profile. Here are some tips for do's and don'ts inside that profile. Make sure you use real high quality pictures of your products and services. Don't use stock images because they're generic and they are not unique, which means that other people are using them as well. And they're not going to reflect your business accurately. If you don't have any yet and you have to have a placeholder while you're building your profile, that's fine. But make sure you go back in as soon as you can once you have photos to replace them out. Always respond to reviews and don't ignore any of them, including negative ones or suggestions. Keep your profile updated monthly. Go back in, make sure nothing has been suggested or changed. And it also is going to prompt you on holiday hours to see if you're going to be open on a special holiday. Make sure you take advantage of that to tell people that you are or are not going to be open and if your hours are going to change. And don't leave it unattended. Make sure that you look back at it regularly and add content. Your profile is just like your digital storefront and your first impression for new customers. So make sure it's optimized and use those SEO efforts to make it easier for customers in your area to find you and for Google to know what it is that you do. Setting up your profile is an investment that's gonna pay off in the long run. So keep it up to date and respond to anyone who asks questions or any community questions about your business that other people may have. I hope that has been helpful and thanks for staying in our Smarter Marketing podcast. I'm your host and until next time, stay smart with your marketing.